Hello YouTube, how you doing? God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. You're awesome and amazing. <coughs> I just finished this uh, audio book, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's in my uh, favorites. It's called Divine Revelation of Hell. I encourage you to listen to it. I had read another book called uh, 23 Minutes in Hell, where a guy was went to hell for 23 minutes, but this lady, she went there for quite a few days. Uh, uh, Jesus had took her there to show her what it's about, to show her who was there, why they were there. Uh, I've heard this, a lot of people throughout the world have been going through this. Uh, and, and they're supposed to speak out what they see, you know, that's why they were, they were put there. But anyways, um, I got a few scriptures I want to share about hell. It's in my Bible. And uh, there's a, a section here in the back. And uh, in A it says, Hell is a place of punishment for the fallen angels. Second uh, Peter 2, 4. For the devil and his angels. Matthew 25, 41. For the beast and the false prophets, Revelation 19.20. For those who worship the beast, Revelation 14.9-11. For wicked humans, Revelation 21.8. For those who reject the gospel, Matthew 10.11-15. And that's just in A. And there's B, uh, hints of hell in the Old Testament. And then there's C, description of hell in the New Testament. So, uh... I'm just going to go with a place for punishment. But first, I'm going to begin with a prayer. Read a, a few scriptures and just tell you uh, what I'm feeling. But we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, I speak life over those watching, Lord God. Holy Spirit, fill this whole room up with your presence. Uh, Lord God, I just love you and I thank you for today. I thank you for your word. I thank you for this message that came through this lady and her experience, Lord God. I thank you for a technology that brings truth to me, Lord God, because I know that we can use technology to help grow the kingdom. Um, even the lady said it when she was there, that, that you had said that technology can be used for the good. Even though there's a lot of bad in technology, it could be used for the good. So I speak heaven over the technology, Lord God, that videos like this and truth go out to the world. I speak heaven over everybody watching right now in Jesus' name. I release the kingdom of heaven on them right now. Every stronghold, every bondage, I command to go right now in Jesus' name. I speak healing over their bodies in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and their families. I pray right now that everybody watch this video, that they share these videos, that they use technology to bless people. I pray that they send that, that, that video that I posted today on my favorites. Uh, divine revelation of how share it to the world it was meant for both the Christians and the non-Christians to hear Lord God I love you and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you use me and help me to speak the truth and never to stir away from it never to get off the wrong path never to 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 to, to mess up my walk I speak that over my life and for the watching Lord God in Jesus name I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. I love you so much, and I praise you. And I will continue to share you. I will continue to feed the homeless. I will continue to minister to them. I will continue to love them, Lord God, because you you loved me first, Lord. You love me first, Lord. God loved, so he gave. He gave Jesus. Jesus loved, so he gave. He gave his life. Now, I love because you live in me, and I will give my life to you, Lord God. I speak heaven over those watching ministry angels. Surround us all, those watching and here right now. And let the word of God speak to us and go into our hearts. And let our spirits receive it. And, and understanding, give us your eyes, your ears, your mouth, Lord. And your heart. I command every spirit of doubt bound up. Every spirit of lies bound up right now in Jesus' name. Life. Amen. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh, hell, it says a place of punishment for fallen angels. And that would be 2 Peter 2, 4. 2 Peter. I'm 
going to, I'm looking at it in the NIV, back of the NIV, but I'm just going to skim through it in the um, ESV, 2 Peter 2, 4. Second Peter. And it says, For God, for if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. Okay. Amen. And then uh, it says, For the devil's hell is a, a place of punishment for the devils and his angels. And this one was pretty powerful. Uh, Matthew 25, 41. This one, uh, I was reading it, and it really, Matthew 25, 41. Thank you, Lord, for your word. I said, I'm going to read 40 to a little bit. Maybe 45, but it's... Remember, this subject is a place of punishment, and then it's for the devil and his angels. But listen to this, 40. All the king... Matthew 25, 40. And all the king will answer and say to them, As surely I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of my least, my brethren, you did it to me. Now you got to read the rest up there. But uh, Now here's 41. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Okay? So another thing, as I was listening to the audio book, Jesus had told that lady that um, hell wasn't made for humans. It wasn't. It was made for the devil and his angels. The devil's a liar, and he's he's into tricking you and killing you and destroying you. You will go to hell if you don't follow the Lord's will and do what the Lord told you to do. In that audio book. There was even preachers in hell. And they were tormented worse. And, and, and I'm telling you, even the least tormented is horrible. It's not something we want. But they were tormented worse because they were preachers and sin. Now let's go to 42. This is what I liked about it. It says, it's 41 and it says, Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Okay. And then in 42 it says, For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. 43. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Me, sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer him, saying, Lord, when do we see you? hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked and sick and in prison and and did not minister to you and 45 it says then he will answer and surely i say to you in as in as much as you did not do it to one of the least of these you did not do it to me and at 46 it says and these will go away into everlasting punishment for the righteousness into eternal life That's deep, man. That's deep. We need to. We need to. Hell's real. But we're not. We shouldn't fear hell. We should fear God because God can send us there. Fear the Lord. You fear the Lord, and then you obey because you you fear the Lord because He can send you there. So we're supposed to do the will of the Father. And, and you know, I'm not gonna lie. That that audio book I read it had some things that I needed to hear. And let me tell you a testimony of. How I heard about that audio book. A guy came up to me. I was feeding the homeless yesterday. And a guy came up to me. I've seen him a couple times. Um, he looks like a guy who smokes pot. Weed. And I believe he might be right now. But he came up. He wasn't hungry. But he says, hey, uh, I got a question for you. And he said, so what? What? He goes, I read the Bible. My mom reads the Bible all the time. She's got a big Bible. And it's just like years and years of 
he did not even a highlighted spot left in that Bible. I'm like, right on. And he's all, so I got a question for you. Now, I'm only 16 months, I believe, into into the Lord right now. Uh, but I've been praying for people on the streets of Patterson since about three months into my walk. He said, "Was God did, did Jesus die on a cross or a tree?" I like I've heard I've read it, you know, in, in books both ways. I've heard cross and tree. Let's just say it was wood, <laughs> you know, and and not worry about what he was on and worry about why he died and 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 the, and the love he shared and and the devil was defeated. Let's keep that in mind. He's like, yeah, you're right. And then he told me, he goes, hey, I want you to check out this book. It's called Revelation to Hell. And a lady wrote it. And he said, I, I couldn't even, he said, I couldn't even finish it. The first chapter. Anybody who could finish the first chapter is, wow. That's all I'm saying is, wow. And I go, so you didn't even finish it, huh? And he goes, man, it's, it's, he goes, it scared me. He goes, I'm a, I, I was a thief. He goes, now I don't even go in the stores if I don't have money. I go, well. And I was hearing the Lord say that he could save souls, that he has the knowledge of Christ, and he should be out there laying hands and ministering. So I told him. Then he goes, promise me you're going to hear that book. And I'm like, you know what, I can't promise you. I can't. Because you know what, I've, I've been in a bunch of Bible studies, and all they want to do is read books, but they don't want to do what they're supposed to do. I want to read the Bible. That's the book I want to read. And his eyes started watering. But I started getting like a revelation, like, man, man, maybe the Lord's using this guy. And I was right. The Lord used this guy to, to, to bring me to the knowledge of this book. Because I needed to hear some things in there. And uh, so I I, read, I I listened to the testimony of the lady who wrote it. That was about 2 hours and 11 minutes. But I only went an hour and 9. I was like, wait a minute, I want to just read the, hear the book. So somebody had read the book online. And I heard the book, and it's, it's powerful. And I'm very thankful that that guy pushed me and pushed me. And I'm going to go tell him thank you. Because he says, I want you to read it so that when you see me again, you're going to say thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So anyways, um, it was a serious book. There was a, a story in there, and I see this a lot. Um, a lady who was preaching the word and doing the will of the father all the way until her husband cheated on her and she knew the word so she was in hell she knew the word and real good she was she was ministering to people she was doing God's work until her husband cheated and then she was like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing and my husband's out there cheating and the Lord gave her lots of chances to forgive her husband the love of God is forgiving. She wouldn't forgive him. And uh, she fell for that. And I needed to hear that because, uh, you know, um, sometimes sometimes I, I, I get angry. And it takes me a while to forgive and, um, when people hurt me. And I know offense is not right because offense adds other attachments, you know, it opens a door, we can't get offended, we need to love people and forgive them, and I'm thankful for that guy to push what he pushed, I prayed over him, I go, you know what, let me pray over you, because I was hearing the Lord wanted to, 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 to fill him up, to activate him, so I put my hands on his chest, I put my hand on his shoulder, and I, we did that, I have a prayer card, you know, inviting the Holy Spirit, you know, for for the power, uh, resurrection power to be ignited, and, and, and I have a prayer card. I don't have it with me right now, but I read it. He recited it, and I said, "Now close your eyes and let me pray for you." I prayed over him, and I imparted on him and I released everything of God on him, the heaven on him, the the resurrection power on him. And then I was like feeling pulsating, going through my fingers into him. I was like, "Do you feel anything?" He's like, "Yeah, my chest is on fire. That's where my hand was." You know. And um, I was like, amen. So I thanked the Lord for that confirmation. And then I continued to pray for him. And his eyes were still watery. And he, was, he felt the presence of God. And then, uh, then I had to feed people and help minister to other people. And so he took off. But, um, you know, 
I believe that guy is going to be a great soldier. So pray for him. Okay. All right. So let's go to another one. Um, Matthew 10, 11 to 15. Matthew 10. Eleven to fifteen. Now this one says, "A place of punishment for those who reject." This is hell. A place of punishment for those who reject the gospel. Matthew ten eleven fifteen. Okay, so let's go there. Matthew ten eleven. It says, "Now whatever city or town you enter, inquire who in it is worthy." And stay there till you go out. And when you go into a household, greet it. If the household is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whoever will not receive you nor hear your words, when you depart from that house or city, shake off the dust from your feet. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Now you know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And it will be more tolerable than that? <laughs> Don't reject the gospel. Don't reject the good news. Bring it into your life. And share it with the world. There's souls to be saved. There's souls to be saved. Over 70 something thousand people die every day. And go to hell. It's 55 every second, I think. In that audio book, the Lord has showed her that this is happening daily. Revelation 21 8, a place of punishment. For humans, Revelation 21 8. Revelation 21 8. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death all liars so we can't even exaggerate an exaggeration is a lie you know we got to learn how to speak the truth correctly that way it's not half a lie and half truth Jesus loves you. Jesus is king. A place of judgment for the beast and false prophet. Revelation 19.20 Then the beast was captured and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worship his image these two were cast alive into the lake of fire burned burning in brimstone you know i was noticing that the first book i read 23 minutes in hell and then i this audio book i listened to you don't die you see your soul is gonna live forever either in heaven or in hell you're in hell you're burning forever you're getting tormented forever you know? there's no middle ground your soul will go somewhere they were saying that worms and snakes and even in the other book that I read he said worms and snakes were eating his body his body was broken and broken and broken and broken over and over and over and over. A lot of the descriptions of both different books by two different people had a lot of the same. It was horrible. 
We don't want to go there. I don't want you to go there. I don't want to go there. We need to submit. We need to let grace transform us. We need to love people. We need to be loved. Amen? Well, that's all I'm going to read for that. I'm going to end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for who you are. Speak life over those watching, Lord God. Praise you, Papa. Praise you. I thank you, Lord God, for your grace. I thank you for, for you sending your son to die for us, Lord God. And, and so we can be reconciled with you, Father God. I pray that people don't let this go. I, I want them to be reconciled. You died for us to be reconciled, but if they don't pick up the cross, Lord God, how can they be reconciled with you? I speak life over them. In Jesus' name, touch their hearts right now. If you have your hand up, the Lord's going to touch you right now in Jesus' name. You're probably feeling them right now. In fact, I heard you're feeling them now, that tingling, that feeling. That's Jesus. He's alive. He's for real. And He came to give you life. The enemy came to destroy you and your family. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open unto you. I, I release the kingdom of God on you. In Jesus' name. You know, I noticed something uh, in, the, in the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, Thou art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. The Holy Spirit will come so thy will can be done. As power. God bless you. Jesus loves you, and I love you. And go share a word for uh, uh, the word with somebody. You know, go share the word with somebody. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in uh, to this channel. And uh, I'm gonna put a URL, a URL of um, my PayPal on the comment section, and I'm also gonna throw this uh, video out there uh, in my comment section for those who would like to check it out. Alright, God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.